Good morning. Just gonna wait. Hi, how'd you get in here? That's my kid. That's my kiddo. Aren't you supposed to be in class? Kiddo? Do you have headphones on? Hi everyone who's coming in. Hello, hello. My kid is in here. My son. Hello, sunshine. Ah, my pumpkin. Yay! Hi, Javon. There's a few of you in here. Oh, okay. That's cool. He just started a new school, you guys. That's nice that you get to use your phone during that time, bud. Now you get to watch mama. I miss you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I'm gonna save this anyways to my page. <clears throat> and I'm a little late. So I do have someone um, that was scheduled, but we're actually gonna end up doing it next week. Uh, the person who wanted to share their testimony. Um, we're going to do it next week. It's it's actually going to end up being on Wednesday, though, because I'll be out of town and I get back on Tuesday. Um, but I do have um, something that I wanted to share with you guys. And I kind of wish that I had shuffled on camera and this fell out because it, it's so crazy how much it ties into what I want to talk about. And while I was um, praying over and meditating, um, Okay, bye. I love you too, sweetheart. That's my son. Um, so anyways, what, when I was praying and meditating over what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I had this aha moment and realized that I kind of have a testimony that ties into what I wanted to talk about. Um, so this week, a lot of the themes that I've been seeing, one in client readings, but just like literally on people's pages, like the things that they're posting about and the things that they're talking about, there is this um, energy of people just feeling kind of defeated and down. And I was <clears throat> on this uh, person's page who owns their own business, and I'm, I'm not gonna say any names, but I was just watching how defeated they feel that it's not starting the way that they wanted or growing or building and so I kind of started to realize hey this is going on in the collective let's let's talk about it and of course as spirit always works my entire uh, last few days then kind of tied into this energy so this morning what I wanted to talk about is how to handle problems as they arise ironically enough as you guys know I'm in um, I'm getting my bachelor's degree right now in metaphysical science and so <laughs> Last night, um, as uh, fate or destiny would have it, I went to start my, my lesson for the night. It's all online. It's like at my own pace or whatever. And the chapter is why do problems arise? What is karmic problems and how do we solve it? And I was like, this is so perfect. Um, and so I wanted to share a few things with you guys. Number one, my testimony that ties into this is... I've been telling you guys since the beginning of time, right, on my on my YouTube, since the beginning of time on my YouTube channel, that when you are faced with a difficulty in life, instead of reacting or overreacting or immediately going into a negative, that you should try to address this from a higher perception, that you should recognize what is the trauma trigger or wound inside of you that is creating this response, and what can you do to remove that trauma trigger wound so that in the future, when these types of uh, situations or experiences come towards you, you won't react the same way that you always have, right? You'll be able to remove the karmic issue, remove the karmic claws, and all of a sudden that problem won't actually appear as a problem anymore. I, I hope that makes sense. So ironically enough, like I said, I'm doing my schoolwork. I open it up. I start reading this chapter and like verbatim, it starts saying, 
um, everything that I'm always talking about on my YouTube channel. And so the reason why I want to share that with you and how this ties into my testimony is if I go back to, you know, people who have an idea or a business that they're trying to start, if you just feel like you're at a space where nothing is happening for you or it's not happening enough, um, my testimony to you is I've been, I've been doing this now for five, six years on YouTube and really trying to get my brand out there and talk to people. And there are more times than I can count where I have felt like, you know what? Maybe, maybe the haters are right. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe, maybe what I'm talking about is wrong. I shouldn't be saying these things. I, I haven't like learned them anywhere other than within myself and with my own issues and through prayer with God. So what if I'm wrong? What if my whole take on this is wrong and I'm just saying the wrong stuff? So what do I do? I decide to go to school so that I can become more equipped and feel more official and right for doing what I'm doing, right? And here it is, the whole lesson I've known all along. Everything that you need, everything that you're looking for in any situation in your life is already inside of you. And that's my testimony to you guys today. Um, it, it really is already inside of you. You just have to have the focus and the patience to want to evolve from whatever conscious level you're on right now in regards to that experience and that situation and be able to actively work on it and rise above it. Uh, when you are starting a new venture in life or when you are trying to grow or when you are trying to expand, it's easy for us in our human mind to think right away, okay, this is what I want so it's just gonna work and it's gonna be great and nothing is gonna get in the way. It never happens that way. As a matter of fact, when you start moving towards what it is you want in life, it oftentimes will feel like everything is going wrong, that you'll have more battles than you've ever faced in your life. And now in hindsight, and, and my word to you is, that's the sign that you're on the right path. That's the sign that you're going uh, in the right direction, where you need to go. You know what I'm saying? So as problems arise, as situations arise that that, that stress you out, Shift your focus, shift how you handle them, recognize it as a lesson and an opportunity to overcome um, an obstacle or to overcome the karmic clause, right? Because uh, the karmic clause is just in accordance with the law of the universe, the law of cause and effect. Um, it is a psychic energy, okay, that gets connected to your psyche or gets connected to your thought realm. And that's where you get into those, those moments and those energies of negativity and feeling defeated and not knowing if you're going to be able to achieve what it is you're trying to achieve. Am I going to make my goal? Maybe I shouldn't be here. Kind of like what I was talking about within myself during this journey of, you know, getting my brand out and trying to, to be an entrepreneur. It's not easy. Nothing in life is. Um, and then going back to the beginning when I said, I wish I had shuffled on camera. So when I, when I realized that that's what I wanted to talk about today, um, I started shuffling from this deck and I, ironically, the card that came out literally says, if life hands you lemons, keep calm and make lemonade. I, I mean, can it be any more on point? Uh, on the back, it says, my dear friend, never give up. And then this one I really liked. It says, every tomorrow has two handles. We can take hold of it with the handle of anxiety or the handle of faith. And so I feel like as humans, once we understand why problems arise, right? And it's typically because of this karmic uh, cause. And um, for those of you that are unaware, a karmic cause is an energy from either an action or a thought, even just a thought, which I say this all the time, um, that you've had in the past that was not in alignment with, uh, you know, positive energy or growth. It could have been a negative thought towards somebody. It could have been a negative thought about yourself. Anything that we think and speak and or do has to come back to us at some point on this journey, right? That's what the law of cause and effect is. And so when something comes to you, instead of looking at everyone else and saying, well, you did this to me, why did you do that? Really and truly, 
You need to be looking at yourself to understand why is this energy coming back to me? Why is this type of energy coming towards me? Why is this karmic type of energy coming towards me? That's where you can get to the root of the karmic cause and understanding, okay, I need to sit and pray on this. I need to sit and meditate on this energy so that I can remove that from my uh, psychic realm, from my thought realm, okay? Because as I said, that energy does connect to you in those areas. Um, so that is, it's a very quick testimony Tuesday today. I just wanted to tie that in for you and kind of give encouragement to anyone who is feeling like they are defeated, that they they can't make it. They're not, you know, maybe, maybe they feel like their dreams or goals are out of reach and they don't really know why they're here. Um, so that's my little, my little spiel. We do have a guest that is coming next week. Uh, like I said, I'm going out of town. So testimony Tuesday will be on Wednesday and I'm very excited for this person. They have a phenomenal testimony to share. I was reading it last night um, and so I cannot wait for her to come on and join. Hello, Divine Truth. I'm just finishing up. This was just, I wanted to come on. It was just like really, really brief. So I'm gonna save it uh, to my Instagram page for you guys to watch and review. Uh, and I hope that you guys stay strong in your faith. Know that you are gonna run into difficulties in life, but you if you just change your perception of it, you'll be able to walk through it instead of feeling like it's a heavy burden that is placed upon you. All right, I send you guys so much love and I will see you guys next week. Bye.